a livestock manager, I'm responsible for the welfare of the animals mm -hmm. um, and their, their daily care and then any veterinary treatment they might need. We have to organise that. Um, if they're sick, I look after them. But I also very much, my job is about working with people. So training people in animal care, um, supporting volunteers when they're working with the animals, um, coordinating projects amongst staff and guarding the animals in the farmyard. So lots of different things. Every day is different. Okay, so it first um, started up in about 1975, I believe, and it was behind King's Cross Station. All the animals were kept in freight liner carriages, which is how the farm got its name. And then um, 1978, the farm moved to this site, and it's been here ever since, and been developing ever since. So we've obviously got purpose-built buildings for the animals, proper paddocks, and, and so on. There probably wouldn't be any animals like these cows and sheep in London if there weren't city farms. So it's um, they're very important places. Um, then um, people who live in the middle of the city get to see animals that otherwise wouldn't be here. Normally you'd have to go out to the countryside to see farm animals. It's continually growing and changing and over that time it's continuing to, to grow and change. New projects, more people, definitely. I mean, we, at the moment we average about 55,000 um, visitors in a year. Just a sand like a fun job and a good place to work. I was just working in an office up in Leicester, which was okay, but it wasn't really what I had uh, in mind for a career. Then I saw this job advertised on the net and if I'd come down and give it a go. And it's outdoors, lots yeah. of animals, it's a cool place to work. This is the first stage of the composting. I collect this from houses around Islington. It's all garden waste, so it's stuff like leaves, branches. And uh, what happens next is I put it through the shredder and the next stage is we put it into one of the bins. Uh, then a few weeks later we turn it and it gets to pretty much what you saw over there that I was uh, taking this stuff out of. Uh, here is the compost that I have uh, before it's sieved. So it's got all the sort of itty bits like branches, stuff that's not going to make good compost. And after that I put it through the sieve uh, here shake it, uh, get all the stuff off on the top and I tip this over the side there onto the sheet and we can uh, re-shred that later and the next stage uh, once we have it in here is I get it into the bags. Okay, This is the finished stage of the compost. <laughs> we sell that for three pounds a bag. The compost smell isn't so bad. Uh, the manure heap's okay. The only thing that did is I collected some brass clippings from Arsenal football ground and they absolutely stunk. Make smoke, as you see, smoky. And when you're working with the bees, you have to manipulate frames or, or something you have to do. Helps you keeping bees away from where, where you are. So, when I started last year, and uh, the manager of the farm offered me to do to look after bees, and I said yes. And he offered me a course in beekeeping, so I said yes. This is called beehive. This is where the bees live. It's a sunny day, so they are most of them are out and taking the pollen from the flowers, bringing water. And this one, it's a frame full of honey. See? This is all honey. This is inside there you can see the honey. And so after after they finished filling up the combs like that, 
they cap it with a thin layer of wax. And when you harvest the honey, well, you take the frame out yeah. and you put it in, in a spinning wheel, in a spinning, like um, you put the frames in there and you spin it and the, the honey comes out. Some of the bees inside a beehive, they have different tasks. The younger, the younger bees fly to collect the pollen and the water, but the, the, older, the older bees stay in the, in, the, in the beehive, nursing the young bees, looking after the queen bee and making the honey. Oh, the queen, the queen is in the beehive. Drones are the male bees. These bees are all worker bees. And this is a wasp eating a bee. Bees and what? Wasps. Well, um, they are different animals. They are, are wasps are wild. And they are, um, also bees are wild. But there's some economic interest for the bees to keep bees because of their honey. They, Wasps, they don't produce honey, they eat insects, other insects. Yeah, we'll definitely come back in. She loves it, she loves the old goats and eggs, what's the difference? What's your favourite dish? Um, the ducks. The ducks? And what about the goats? You like that bit? Yeah. When he pulled his hair. He pulled your <laughs> hair, didn't he? Yeah, why? Because you turned your back to him with your dinner when he's dinner. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ha 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 ha!